This will be a short video to help you review income elasticity of demand, which we know as YED. Basically, income elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of demand to changes in income. By how much does demand change when there's a change in the consumer's income? It is calculated using this formula. YED equals percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in income. So it's the new quantity demanded, QD2, minus the old quantity demanded, QD1, divided by QD1 times 100. All of this divided by Y2, the new level of income, minus Y1, divided by Y1 times 100. This should give you the um, value of YED. So if the percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than the percentage change in income, in this case, quantity demanded or, or demand is very responsive to changes in income, we say that demand is income elastic. There's income elastic demand. Demand is very responsive or sensitive to changes in income. This applies generally to services and luxury goods. Um, usually when people have increases in their income, they go out there and they buy um, fancy services and luxury goods. Income inelastic demand occurs when the percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the percentage change in price. Demand is not very responsive to changes in income. This occurs um, in the case of necessities. Necessities are not very responsive to changes in income. You can't really imagine someone getting a big bonus at work and going out there and stocking up on necessities, especially if all of their um, basic needs are met. So, Services and luxury goods tend to have income elastic demand, where demand is very responsive to change in income. Necessities um, tend to have income inelastic demand. So when you calculate income elasticity of demand, you could end up with a positive value or a negative value. A positive value happens when, for example, as income increases, demand also increases. This happens in the case of normal goods. Most goods are normal goods. When income increases, demand will also increase. If income elasticity of demand is greater than one, this will be usually the case of services and luxury goods. If income elasticity is less than one, this will be the case of necessities. So both those, so services and luxury goods and necessities are still normal goods. When income increases, demand also increases. Services and luxury goods have income elastic demand. Necessities have income inelastic demand. Okay, now what if income elasticity of demand is negative? Okay, this happens in the case when income increases, but demand decreases. This is usually the case with inferior goods. Inferior goods um, are goods that the consumer um, deems as somewhat less superior. Okay, uh, very good examples are secondhand clothing or public transport. Usually these inferior goods, when people experience increases in their income, they buy less of them because they go and they buy the more superior good. Okay, so say, for example, if you're a college student and you're on a budget and you're relying a lot on public transport, as you grow older, you're more likely when your income increases to go out there and buy a car. So your demand for public transport um, um, could decrease. In that case, for you as a consumer, public transport is an inferior good. So economists use something called the Engel curve, E-N-G-E-L curve, to show income elasticity of demand. An Engel curve shows the relationship between income on the y-axis and quantity demanded on the x-axis. An inferior good will have a negative slope because the value of Y-E-D will be negative. Um, as you can see here, when income increases from Y1 to Y2, quantity demanded decreases from Q1 to Q2. What about a luxury or um, a luxury good or a service? We said that luxury goods and services tend to have a high income elasticity of demand, much higher than one. Okay, they will have a positive slope, obviously, because luxuries um, and uh, luxury luxuries goods and services are income elastic, and they have a relatively flat curve. You can see when income rises from Y1 to Y2, quantity demanded increases by much more proportionate increase from Q1 to Q2.
Necessities will also have a positive slope because they are normal goods, but they will have a relatively steep curve. And this is because the value of YED is less than one. As you can see, when income rises from Y1 to Y2, quantity demanded rises by a very small amount, proportionately small amount compared to the percentage change in income. So an angle curve plots the relationship between income on the y-axis and quantity demanded on the x-axis. And we um, use it to see whether the good is an inferior good. If it's an inferior good, it will have a negative slope. If it's a normal good, it will have a positive slope. If this positive slope is relatively flat, it's a uh, th this is used to represent luxury, luxurious goods or services where the demand is very income elastic. If it's um, a necessity, okay, with income inelastic demand, it will have a positive slope, but the curve will be relatively steep and the value of YED will be less than one. I hope this video um, helped you uh, review income elasticity of demand. Please contact me if you have any questions.